In this lesson, we are going to learn the finite state machine, also called FSM. Our lesson begins with its definition. Two different types of FSM, which include the Moore machine and the Milling machine. The symbol that represents a single state of either machine. And then I will show you two different examples to reinforce the learning. Finite state machine is a computational model that can be used to simulate a sequential logic system. The entire logic sequence of a design can be broken into multiple states. A diagram shows all the states and the transitions between the states. It's called a state diagram. One example of finite state machine is the vending machine system. For example, if you want to buy some beer from vending machine, oops, we don't have lots of vending machine that sell beer here in America, but we do have vending machine that sell beers in other countries like Germany. The machine shows a welcome message and asks you to make a beer selection. This is the first state. I see a Duff beer inside the vending machine. I need that beer. Machine change to second state and ask me to pay. First, I want to test how well this machine is designed. Uh, so I insert two sheets of toilet paper. Unfortunately, machine recognize these are not two US dollar bills. It throws the toilet paper back to me and hit my forehead. I have no choice. Now I insert two US dollar bills. Machine took the bills and then gave me one can of Duff beer. It transits to the last day now and it shows thank you. Uh, barely one can of beer is not enough. Get more beer. So this is an example of finance day machine system. Another example of finance day machine is the traffic light system. The lab corresponds to this lesson is to build a traffic light system. There are two types of finite state machines, more machine and the mini machine. For more machine, its output values are determined solely by its current state. For mini machine, its output values are determined by current state and also an input. Each type of machine has its own advantages and disadvantages. We have two lessons after this lesson. Each lesson discusses each type of state machine. So here is a symbol of a single state. First, we draw a big circle. This circle is an enclosure that contains information of a single state. At the upper portion of this circle, we write the name of the state. Uh, for example, the state name can be called uh, state 1 uh, or uh, turn on light. Below the name, we put the data generated by this state. For example, the data can be the welcome message from the vending machine. The data can be binary value 0 or 1, which means to turn on or turn off some LEDs. This arrow is input data from previous state. And that state is not showing here. And this arrow is the output data from current state to transit to next state. Uh, figure 2 is an example of a single state. This state is called state 1. There are two output data at this state. The first data is binary value of 0, 1. Bit 0 equal to 1, and bit 1 equal to 0. That 1 at bit 0 can turn on a LED. Or turn on a motor.
the zero at bit 1 can turn off another LED. Or turn off another motor. The duration for the state is 30 milliseconds. If transition equal to 0, you go back to itself, remain at the state. If transition equal to 1, it goes to the next state. Figure 3 shows a state diagram of a counting system. We can analyze from any state. Uh, how about let's begin with S0 state. At S0 state, the output equals to a binary value 00. zero. If the transition equals to 1, the system then transits to S1 state. At S1 state, if transition is still 1, it transits to S2 state. At S2 state, if transition is 1, it transits to S3 state. At S3 state, again if transition is still 1, it returns to S0 state. For any state that its input equal to 0, it goes back to itself. In other words, it remains at that state. 